Hello Internet! I'm back and I'm ready to prove that this channel has no direction whatsoever. After talking a lot about my arcade machine in the last couple of videos, I decided to review a cheap download title for the Nintendo Switch today. If you have seen some of my previous work, you are probably aware of the fact that I love games based on the Olympics. I played a lot of those titles over the years and I even made reviews about London 2012 and Winter Heat, which you can check out here on my channel. At the time of recording this, the official Tokyo 2020 game featuring Mario and Sonic hasn't come out. So I've been desperately looking for a Switch title that will provide me with a similar experience. I already have summer sports games, which is a terrible budget title and to the best of my knowledge the only Olympic Games simulation currently available in physical form for the system. So I had to search the darkest corners of Nintendo's eShop for another competitor. I found Smoot's Summer Games for around 9 bucks and after playing it for a couple of days I'm finally ready to tell you how I feel about it. I know that life is short and people don't have time, so I give you my verdict in the beginning. It sucks! So I guess you can turn off the video right now and go play outside. And yeah, I clickbaited you with the thumbnail. Still here? Okay, then you might as well listen to me ramble on for a while. At first glance, Smooth Summer Games looks great. It has a local multiplayer mode for up to 4 players, 18 different athletic events, a nice variety of different competitions and even some tough single player challenges that remind me of the eternal classic track and field. Sadly the gameplay and the presentation ruin much of the potential that Smooth Summer Games initially displays. Simple mechanics that still allow for enough fine tuning to achieve ever greater world records are actually required for games of this type to be fun. But I feel that the developers went too far this time. Quite a few of the 18 events play exactly the same. You push one or two buttons as fast as you can and then you set an angle by hitting one of the shoulder buttons for a second. There is nothing more to it and it will soon become clear that there are no hidden techniques that could help you shave a couple of milliseconds of a run or add some more inches to a jump. There is also a weird disconnect between the on-screen action and what is happening on the controller. As in many games of this type, a speed lock occurs after powering up so the player can concentrate on the final input uninterrupted. I like this mechanic in many other Olympic simulations, but here it often makes no sense at all. In the high jump for example, all the button mashing occurs while taking two steps back, while the actual running requires no action whatsoever. It's hard to explain, but trust me when I say that it just feels wrong while playing. Mm -hmm. Yet another problem is that the game doesn't seem to pick up the inputs in a fair manner. I've been pushing buttons for more than four decades now and consider myself an expert on the subject. So it is very confusing that during an endurance race my speed keeps going down during the second half even though I'm very sure that I keep pushing at a constant pace. There seem to be quite a few of these little glitches that can have a negative effect on several events. Just to be as thorough as possible, I would also like to point out that it took me at least 10 tries to figure out how to jump over a hurdle, because the takeoff has to occur at least 3 steps before reaching the obstacle. The graphics are very cute, but so simple that my eyes got bored after a couple of minutes. When the little albino girl and her friend come out to measure the distance, a javelin, shot or discus have been thrown and display the same animations every time, it feels pretty lame. The worst thing about Smooth Summer Games is that it could have been awesome. 
I know that this is a small indie title made by a small crew with a limited budget, but it would have been so easy to still make this little game fun. Put in high score lists for all the events and people would have so many more reasons to get competitive. Add a little celebration whenever someone breaks a world record. Let people set up their own competitions by allowing them to pick from all events. None of these simple measures were taken and it makes playing smooth summer games truly depressing. And why oh why are there characters with afros in the intro? But I can neither choose nor create an athlete with the best haircut of all time. So, to wrap this up, did I regret buying this one? Not really, because it was cheap and I still had some fun playing against my friends. But I am addicted to this genre and I would rather play track and field on the NES for the rest of my life than spending one hour on FIFA or Madden on the PS4. Yet I own so many better alternatives to Smooth's summer games and some of them are more than 30 years old. I give this a 4.5 out of 10 and hope that the next Mario and Sonic game will fill the void I currently feel when it comes to sports games on the Switch. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope I'll find time to make another one soon. Have a great day and have fun gaming. See ya!